And now the topic of Rick and Negan reuniting and meeting is a very intriguing topic. And in my opinion, it's actually more intriguing than Daryl and Rick reuniting. And that's because Rick and Negan, they had that really bad history. And also like, you know, just Rick leaving in general was due to like, you know, Maggie and Daryl wanting to kill Negan. And uh, yeah, like, you know, uh, today's video, I'm going to be talking about what will happen when Rick and Negan meet. And now before we actually get into the video, I'd like to ask you all to like, share and subscribe. And again, thank you guys so much for the growth. Thank you guys so much for the support. I really, really appreciate it. And, you know, like uh, the overwhelming amount of views that, you know, this channel got is insane this past month, especially for the reboot video. Like, you know, uh, a, a lot of good feedback is coming from that video. So I really, really appreciate it. This growth and this support is all because of you guys. So I really, really appreciate it. And now without further ado, let's get right into the video. And now the topic of Rick and Negan coming face to face has been discussed a lot by the community and it's a very exciting idea. In my opinion, I'm actually more excited to see Rick and Negan meeting than Rick and Daryl and that's because of their history, right? And the rivalry they had, right? And also because of the choice that Rick made of actually sparing Negan and then Rick actually seeing the stuff that Negan did, right? Because in my opinion, uh, Negan is redeemed, right? And uh, after like season uh, season 10, right? Season 11, um, a Dead City, right? Um, all of the things that Negan did, especially in season 10, right? He, he basically carried that season when he actually infiltrated like, you know, the skins, right? And it's, it's, um, in my opinion, of course, he is redeemed in some people's opinion. He is not redeemed. And I've seen it a lot in the comment section of a lot of my videos that people say that Negan deserves to die, right? And Rick might actually fulfill his promise of killing Negan. And now in my opinion, uh, Negan getting killed by Rick, right? Uh, that is, uh, that is basically throwing all of season eight out of the window and just Negan's whole character development out of the window. And that's solely because in season nine, the reason why Rick even like, you know, got taken by the CRM in the show was because Maggie and Daryl wanted to go and kill Negan. So that's why they actually steered Rick in the wrong direction, which actually caused him to go to the bridge and, you know, just go up against a horde of walkers, which eventually he blew up the bridge and, you know, he um, and he got taken by the CRM. And that was solely on the topic of Negan. Right. And th that's because Maggie was pretty stubborn and she was like, I want to kill Negan. But when she finally got to Negan, she actually like, you know, spared him. Right. And again, like uh, some people do say that Rick left for no reason. Basically, it's because like Maggie didn't even kill Negan at that point. And in my opinion, um, you know, if they want to kill Negan, they could have killed him there. But of course, like the comic arc right the comic storyline uh negan had to live on because of his whole like uh, story in in uh, season 10 and in the whisper arc and in my opinion i personally think that when rick and negan have eventually come face to face i think rick actually might get a newfound respect for negan and it's just a certain level of respect he's not gonna like be boys with him he's not gonna be friends with him but uh he will actually end up respecting negan like how daryl ended up respecting negan at the end of season 11 and that's solely because he just hears everything that negan did right like what he did for the community what he did for his people what what he did for judith right he saved judith uh, a couple of times as well and he's just a totally new man and uh, of course like no one's gonna forget what he did in the lineup and uh, of course rick is not gonna forget what he did in the lineup but where a lot of people say that rick is going to kill negan right away when he sees him that's just wrong right and of course uh, rick is not gonna kill negan as soon as he sees him and it's it's gonna throw out like and if he does right it's just gonna throw away uh season eight's ending and carl's sacrifice in general and that's the point i wanted to make uh that if negan were to die by the hands of Daryl, Maggie, Rick, or any other character, I think that that's just a huge waste of season eight's ending and Carl's sacrifice. And of course, Carl's last wishes were to actually, you know, basically spare Negan and, you know, to create a new community, a new world, right? And, and just everybody living together. But when Negan and Rick do cross paths, I think that Rick will actually uh, think about Carl in that moment and he will actually think that, yeah, like Carl's dream did come into fruition and he did make a good choice of actually sparing Negan because, of course, like I mentioned before, he helped out the group a lot and he came in so much use for the group 
and I think that Rick and Negan will actually end up working together and I think that that is the one thing I really want to see in the crossover series is Rick, Negan, and Daryl just being the big three and face front of that crossover series and you know just be really really cool to see because like Daryl and Negan working together was very very cool to see right that moment in season 10 where both of them actually worked together to kill like um, Beta was insane and that was really really hype and just imagine seeing Rick, Daryl, and Negan like working together against the CRM soldiers. But let's just say Rick actually does end up killing Negan. I think the only instance where that will happen is if Negan actually does end up getting bitten by a walker and he's about to turn then Rick puts him down. I think that that would be the moment where like Rick actually does end up killing Negan and quote unquote fulfilling his promise of killing him but he's not going to do it like out of rage or anger he's going to do it just to like uh, put him out of his misery and uh, of course that would be a very sad scene to see right like Negan a character like Negan dying uh, because of like uh, being bitten by a walker that's that's just uh, that that would be insanely sad because like of course he is my favorite character in The Walking Dead uh, even more than Rick and I, I don't want to see Negan like dying like that I want to see him actually doing more in the CRM war but if they want to like do that moment where like in a way Rick actually does fulfill his promise of killing Negan I think that that would be the only way to do it is where he's bitten by a walker and then Rick actually has to put him down but for the people who think that Negan is not redeemed yet another way I could see Negan dying is if he actually sacrifices himself for the group and specifically to Rick and I think that we'll get a scene where Negan actually does end up apologizing to Rick when they actually do meet, right? And of course, uh, like, Negan is probably going to confess to Rick that, yeah, you know, I was wrong. And the way that I used to um, run things when I was the, when I was the leader of the Saviors was totally wrong. Like, and he's going to apologize for killing G Glenn and Abraham. He's fully going to say sorry about Carl's death, right? And it's going to be a very, very emotional moment right there. And I think that around that moment, if that were to happen, I think Negan might actually end up sacrificing him his life for rick specifically as uh, basically as a way to redeem himself and of course if you don't think that negan is redeemed i think that that moment will actually redeem him for everybody right and uh personally of course i think that negan is redeemed for the stuff he did especially for saving judith and stuff like that and uh you know just him being a better person but if they want to go with that route of Negan actually sacrificing himself to redeem himself, I think that that would be the perfect way to do it. And, and I think that he would do it in a way where Rick uh, blew up the bridge, right? It, it, it would be a scene like that because, again, Rick blew up the bridge because he wanted to stop uh, Maggie and Daryl from killing Negan, right? And I think that Negan would actually sacrifice himself in that way, uh, maybe to, to blow up uh, some sort of base or like a base full of walkers or a base full of CRM soldiers or Negan might be the one to actually finish the war and to actually beat the CRM in general by just one last sacrifice and he, he just ends up blowing up a base or or like a bridge of some sorts to actually mirror that moment of Rick uh, quote unquote sacrificing himself. But in the end, I think that Rick and Negan will actually end up working together and Negan will end up apologizing to Rick and Negan will try redeeming himself in Rick's eyes is because the last time they met, uh, Negan still had a little bit of that old Negan in him in the prison when he was actually in jail at Alexandria. And I think that this would be Negan's moment to fully redeem himself in Rick's eyes by saving like Judith and RJ and Rick himself and the rest of the group. And eventually Rick actually does, uh, you know, get a newfound respect for Negan. I think that that's how it actually go, right? And when they actually do reunite. And again, like how I said in the start of the video, I think Negan and Rick reuniting would actually be more interesting than Daryl and Rick reuniting and that's because of, of course their history together and and it's one of the most iconic rivalries in tv so you know just seeing these two working together i think it would just be really really cool to see in a great fan service and now that's it for today's video i'd like to ask you all to like share and subscribe and again thank you guys so much for the growth thank you guys so much for the support i really really appreciate it and this specific topic i want to make for a while now like it, uh, this topic has actually been like you know in my head for 
a very, very long time. And I want to make a video on this topic when I actually started this channel, but I never got the chance to do so. So yeah, you know, I was really happy that I was able to make this video about the topic of Rick and Negan meeting. And, you know, like just the idea of it gets me very, very excited. And now other than that, thank you guys so much for watching.